Okay, so I decided to do a quick tutorial real quick to show you guys how to set up TouchDoll um, with an Android device and to get it to work with Fruity Loops. So if you've had problems working with TouchDoll in the past, I'm going to show you how to get it set up. Okay, so the first thing you want to need to do is you, if you're on a Windows computer, and this is, I don't have a Mac set up, so I'm going to be doing this on a Windows Vista computer. But with any Windows version, it should work pretty much the same way. So TouchDoll needs a discovery service called Bonsure. Windows computers by default don't have it on them. So you're going to need to download them, download it. So what you can do is open up your browser and navigate to, uh, well, just type in Bonjour. Um, it's probably going to be the first one that comes up. You'll see Apple Soundport Bonjour. Go ahead and click on that link. And you want to go ahead and download Bonsure. It's a download link somewhere. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, here it goes. Downloads right there. So you see, once you get to the page that says Bonsure, um, you just want to go ahead and click downloads. There's the link right there. Apple.com forward slash support forward slash Bonsure. You need to go ahead and download this. So click on downloads. And when you click on downloads, it's the first one. It says Bonsure Print Services for Windows version 2.0.2 .2 at the time of this recording. So go ahead and click on the download link. It's going to start downloading right there. Go ahead and install that. I'm not going to run through the install process since I already have it on my computer. But once you install Bonsure, you're good to go there. Um, so go ahead and get Bonsure installed and then we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. Alright, welcome back. Now, assuming that we've already gone ahead and got Bonsure installed, the next thing you will need to do is download RTP MIDI. So type in Google RTP MIDI and hit enter. It's going to take you to the next page. Um, where you'll go ahead and get RTP MIDI. So the first link is the one you want on the Google results. If not, it's just link right here and I'll put the link in the description as well. Um, RTP MIDI is the next thing you're going to need. So go ahead and click on RTP MIDI and once you get to the RTP MIDI page, you want to go ahead and download RTP MIDI. You'll see a link right here at the top um, provided it's available. It's available right now. In the past it wasn't. I guess they were doing updates, but it should be a download link right here in the upper right hand corner of the page right across the under words RTP MIDI. So you can click on download RTP MIDI and it's going to start downloading. Once it downloads, you can go ahead and open it. It's uh, a, um, a RAR archive, so you might need to extract it with a program like WinRAR. Um, if you have WinRAR, just open it up, go ahead and double click on it. It's going to bring up this fun screen right here, and you're just going to run up through the setup process. If you don't have, I already have it installed, so I can't install it right now. Anyways, if you don't have it installed, it's going to, if you don't have Bonsure installed, it's going to tell you install Bonsure first, so go ahead and do that. But once you have it installed, you're good to go. So go ahead and in, install RTP MIDI, and we'll move to the next step which is going to uh, involve both the computer and your Android device. All right. So, assuming you've gone ahead and done that and got an RTP MIDI installed and you've also gotten um, the Bonsure service installed and Bonsure is running on your computer, the next thing you want to do is navigate to your start menu on your computer. Let's get rid of this guy. Navigate to your start menu on your computer and open up RTP MIDI. All right. Now, when you open up RTP MIDI, it's not going to be there. Ignore that. You didn't see that yet. Okay. When you open up RTP MIDI, it's going to look like this. Okay. I just erased everything. So RTP MIDI is going to look like this. Here's what you're going to do. First. You're going to take your tablet device. Oops, I dropped my phone. You're going to take your tablet device, okay? And you're going to go to here, and you're going to open up 
Where's my camera? Can you even see what I'm doing? Okay. You're going to open up Touch Doll. So we'll go ahead and open up Touch Doll. Touch Doll. Okay, it's going to start up. Now, once it starts up, well, you know, I'm doing this kind of backwards. I want to show you what the Bonshore services does, so I'm about to close this out once it decides to start. Okay, and no, actually, no, I don't need to. So I opened up Touch Doll. And when I opened up Touch Doll, because my tablet is connected to the Wi Fi network, for this to work, both your computer and your tablet have to be connected to the same network. Now, my computer is hardwired to my network, and this is wireless on my network, but they're in the same subnet. Uh, okay, so this, since they're in the same subnet, they can communicate with each other and the Bonshore service immediately discovered touch doll on my computer when I went into this so you see RTP MIDI is using Apple Bonshore when I started RTP MIDI these two things appear and I explained them in a second okay um, the next thing you want to do once you have RTP MIDI going and you have a touch doll up you want to add two sessions so in this section up here that says my sessions go ahead and go down here and click the plus add session so we're going to be adding this session so you click the plus and you want to click the plus one more time so we're adding two sessions now go to your first session and click the it, well you can click enable or the check box we're just going to click enable we'll click enable so give it a second now it's enable you see check mark there go to the next section click enable again once you click enable, you see, you'll see the different options here. Now, the only ones we're going to be word concerned about are the ones that said TDAW, blah, 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 RTP1, and blah, 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 RTP2. Anyways, once you have those selected, select, well, first select the first one that says whatever, you know, the one without the one on it. Select the first one, and then the first one, you want to go down to the directory that appears under it. Make sure it's the first one that's highlighted. When the first one is highlighted, go down to the directory and select RTP1 and select connect. Okay, so you want to make sure the first option is highlighted under my sessions. You want to select RTP1 under directory. Sometimes these get mixed up and rearranged. Make sure the one that you're selecting for the first session says RTP1 and select connect. Okay, you'll see it appear here. It should say the latency, whatever the latency is on your network right there. Next, you're going to highlight the second session under the first session. And when you select the first session, you want to select RTP2, not RTP1. On the first session, you select RTP1. On the second session, you're going to select RPT2, and you're going to select Connect. And it will appear right here and tell you what the latency is. So you notice now when I select my sessions, it says RTP1 over here. And when I select the second session, it says RTP2. Okay? you're done with this part so you can move that one to the side don't close it out just move to the side next in FL studio you want to go to options select I forgot what I was doing select MIDI settings once you select MIDI settings now it's not going to appear here I mean it is going to appear here if not just like rescan you see the two sessions that we created in in our RTP MIDI so you want to go ahead and select the first one and select enable then select the second one and select enable so mine are already enabled because I already enabled it but select the first one and select the second one and, uh, and enable it make sure that both are enabled okay for the first one only for the first one only just the one that says the, the first session you want to go down to controller type because it's going to be on generic controller for the first session only you want to go and select Mackie Universal Controller. Okay? That's for the first session only. Also, for the first session only, you want to go into your output and change the port number to 102. If you do not change the port number to 102, the labels and stuff from your mixer and stuff in the clock is not going to report back to your tablet. So, once you have that done, you're done. You can also additionally go into the touch dial interface and go into your setup Whoop. go into your setup and when you go into setup under the, the DAW controller under the sequencer select FL Studio so everything lines up correctly once you have that set up I mean you're pretty much good to go 
I can go into the tablet now and select the keyboard if I wanted to and it's not working of course why let's find out okay because I had disabled it enabled it anyways once you have that done you're done there that's you can do whatever you want to do you know you can set up and you can switch to the XY pads and you can even pull out your FPC channels at one FPC FPC and go ahead and map notes for entire bank. So now this guy is, is mapped to you know and it got a 10 point multi touch if you got multi touch on your tablet. And you can even sit here and uh I was you can I mean the clock works if you have it on big time and I was actually playing this. You see the clock is ticking on here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So I don't know. Anyways, it's it's really neat program. You can do a lot of stuff with it. It's really unlimited. Let me just pull this mixer up real quick so you can see the mixer in the face. Okay, even when as I'm talking, I don't know if you can see or not, but the the indicator for the mixer is moving up and down as I'm talking there on the left hand side or I can control the individual channels on the mixer yada 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 drop my voice out oh can't hear me can't hear me uh, 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 you know and it's all sorts of neat stuff that you can actually do with it I guess all your effects and everything built into that just get a close up of the interface real quick so you can see But you get the general idea. Anyways, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was helpful or useful, please subscribe. Recommend other people. If you want me to do um, more videos, you know, let me know what you want to know, and I'll try and do a tip on it. Thank you for watching again, and peace.